I got this new idea and uh, I added more shafts, more pulleys, more belts that, that high pitched sound is, is uh, I think it's my drive pulley slipping on the shaft. What I did was I put both shafts together. Besides, I added a, a couple more over here on this side. And I want to see what would happen. Got this great idea. I had to clamp up the bracket. This one belt here keeps trying to jump off on power. We'll figure something out about that. But I definitely uh, have a slip. I wanted to see what would happen if I ran two two horse electric motors together they're both going in the same direction and their rpms are probably within 20 30 rpms and oh, i got a lot of a lot of pulleys turning now it looks nice but i wasn't planning on that constant slipping that'll That'll wear a groove in my shaft. But this is kind of what I wanted. A lot more uh, eye candy, something to catch your eye. And uh, I may try it. I think it's this pulley right here that's squealing. It's my, uh, that two sheath, uh, belt I, I never did uh, put a a keyway in that shaft I just tightened down that taper lock and it's slipping this this pulley here I I made a new hub for it because it was slipping so bad that, that it wouldn't really drive that that big four foot pulley in the front. But my idea was to, you can see, this is the drive shaft on this side, drive pulley, and it actually drives that line shaft there, that belt, and then it's got this one here, it comes across, you can see the red, cast iron hangers, they're wall hangers, they come out. I was put up here to run run my lathe, but I put another, it's a wooden pulley up there, and I added another shaft up here. So then it, it comes across here, and wouldn't you know it, this, this shaft here, which is inch and 11, almost lines up perfect with uh, this other shaft, which is running my uh, four foot diameter pulley in the front. If I, if I was off like a, probably off not more than three eighths of an inch, I could move it around, it'd be just one shaft. But then they would run together and, and my idea was to, to use my hangers and put new shafts in. So this one goes down to this, shaft here, which is a, a pretty little uh, wooden pulley I got. Somebody buffed it up and, and lacquered the face. A little bit slippery. I'll put that old belt on there and, and it'll work in. So this goes on all the way over to, to here didn't show up too good. And then, then I put a pulley here. You can 
see this, we're pretty close to it. So this one runs on here, and this is where both sides, both line shafts meet right here in the middle. I think this squealing tells me that looking at it from this end, the drive shaft on this side, the left side, is running just a little bit slower than the drive shaft on this side. I, I calculated this one out to be running about 180 RPM. And, and I am going through a lot of pulleys. So uh, it will take a lot of calculation, but I just uh, probably need to adjust my pulleys a little bit, maybe move the, move them around and speed this left side up and uh, get rid of that squeal or tighten down that taper lock. I'm thinking once the the line shafts get up to speed, all the power will be driving off either one side or the other. So I guess this one on the right side, the squealing one, is is uh, working to try to get it up to speed. And the the little motor is probably running it. It's at 1800 RPM, and um, all the loss is taking place right at this. Pulley. You know, that squealing can get irritating. Well, I just uh, uh, thought I would show my great idea. I did get everything running. It's it's a uh, it was a lot of fun doing it. I did have one problem, which uh, kind of scared me. This uh, hanger right here broke. This cast iron broke off, broke it off, putting the shaft up there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put some rings welded on large piece of pipe, like six eight inch pipe that'll go around this in case in the future that breaks it isn't going to fall on somebody we're going to take this out to the show and you've got to be safe so these are I like these hangers they were manufactured in San Francisco they have uh, their niece and Gottfried San Francisco, California and I've never seen them before. And it's possible that they weren't a very strong hanger. And uh, so they didn't really uh, uh, take off too good in the in the market. And <laughs> maybe that's why you never see them. But if I can uh, keep them there without them breaking, I'm gonna leave them up there. Otherwise, I'll have to get some other hangers. But, but we're gonna go with them right now. My brave job is holding it up there. So, if you have any comments, uh, anybody electrical out there, since I have two two horse electric motors, is that theoretically putting four horsepower to the pulley? I, I, I'm just, uh, I know freewheeling with no load, you're not requiring a four star. But uh, I just wondered about how that would react because I, I wanted more horsepower and uh, two horses is, uh, is uh, the most you can run off of a 15 amp circuit. I'm running uh, both these at the same time off my uh, 15 amp GFI in the backyard. And as you can see, they're pulling. No load, but we're, we're turning everything. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, leave a comment. Talk to you later. Bye.